Welcome to Whitney's channel. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Whitney Wiley and today I am doing an unboxing video. So, I recently did an unboxing video a couple weeks ago and it seemed like it did pretty well. People liked the video, so I thought I would make another one. So today I'm going to do one on the Valentino Rock Stud Heels. Um, I'm really excited about them, so I can't wait to show them to you. Um, oh, also, if you aren't subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you enjoy it, because if you subscribe, it'll notify you every time I make another video. And in 2017, I'm planning to make a lot more videos. So, let's get started. <laughs> Go away. Okay, so a little backstory on the unboxing videos. I did an unboxing video a couple of weeks ago for my Christmas gift. I think it was actually a week ago. And um, this is an unboxing video on my birthday gift. So my birthday is January 16th, which is only a couple of weeks after Christmas. So I thought that I would do a little unboxing video on what I got for my birthday. So I picked out the Valentino shoes. Um, why did I choose to get these shoes? Well, I knew that I wanted some shoes that were black, that went with everything, and I have one other pair of nice black heels, but I was kind of wearing them to death, and I was wearing them to death because they were the only comfortable shoes I had, really. So I wanted to make sure that I found super uber comfortable shoes, and from what I heard through all the reviews is these are some of the most comfortable shoes. So. Let's get them out. All right, I live in Los Angeles, so I'm lucky enough to be near all of the designer shoe companies and department stores. I don't know if you wanna call that luck or not because it just makes you wanna go there and it makes you want more stuff. So, but I was able to go there. I don't really get to shop very often in Beverly Hills, if never, but for this gift, I was able to go there. So that was pretty fun. Um, it was a fun experience to go on Rodeo and shop around. But anyway, um, I picked them out from Saks. Here, there we go. So you can actually see them. I picked them up at Saks Fifth Avenue um, in that area. I, there is a Valentino store down on Rodeo, but I ended up going into Saks for some reason, and each department store kind of has a different contract with Valentino on what shoes they carry, and I originally went into Barney's, and they didn't have, I don't think, as in-depth of a selection. Um, I didn't look, like their shades as much, but then I walked over to Saks, which was right next door, and they had some different colors. So that's where I found these shoes. And it came wrapped all super cute in this Saks bag, um, the sales associate made it really cute and tied a beautiful bow, but okay, I'm not going to lie. I've already worn them once. They were a birthday gift, so I wore them out to dinner on my birthday dinner night, um, but that's it. So they're practically brand new. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I untied the bow, so let's get in it. So I feel like they come wrapped so pretty from Saks. I don't know how Valentino wraps them, but anyway. Okay, so here is the box. And interestingly enough, I feel like most Valentino boxes I've seen are red, but mine is black. It's the your version, I suppose, my shoes. So it came in a black box like this. And when you take the lid off the box, it comes like this can see that so um, it has a little dust bag on the top and then there is a little um, piece of fabric that's holding a couple of pouches here so the pouches just have some additional studs in them so this is I believe yeah the additional studs so I think it comes with like two additional studs just in case they pop off I hope they don't pop off um, obviously anytime soon, but I guess it's good to have backup so you can just always take that in. And then just like a little information booklets in here. Just tons of tiny envelopes, tons and tons of tiny envelopes, more studs. Okay. And then here's your dust bag. Dust bag is a little plain. 
I feel. But you know, whatever. It's a dust bag. At least you have it. It's good for traveling. I should probably scoot over so you can actually see the shoes. The point of the video. Um, so here you go. Yes. Wrap the tissue paper. A little crinkly. So I pour into them like an animal. Um, <laughs> all right, and here are the shoes. There's my barber. So cute, huh? Okay, so here are the Valentino Rock Stud heels. I got them in a black shade. And then they have almost like a pewter stud. So it's not silver. I don't wear a lot of silver. Um, I pretty much wear only gold. So in the black shoes, for some reason, I could only really find the silver studs around that area. Um, or it was like the ones that had the tan accent shade going around the perimeter of the shoe with the gold studs. And I wanted the whole shoe to be the same shade, the leather to be the same shade. So anyway, I um, only could find a silver or this like pewter shade, but I thought this was really cool because it kind of blends in with the shoe. And because it's not silver or gold, I feel like you can get away with wearing it with gold jewelry or with silver jewelry. It's kind of like in between. Um, the leather is the matte leather, so it's not the patent leather. Um, it's not very shiny, as you can see, but it's very nice. I've worn these, like I said, one time. I haven't had any issues with them scratching or anything. Um, one of the cool things about wearing them once is I can also say that I wore them for probably about three or four hours, not that long. Like I'd like to put in like a full eight hours one day and see what happens. But I wore them for about four hours and my feet didn't hurt. So people were right so far. <laughs> my toes were not dying. It is a four inch heel. So that's pretty good for a four inch heel for your feet to not be in some sort of discomfort after four hours. Um, and I think that if I was rating these on a comfort scale, out of all of my shoes, I would probably give these an eight. I have one other pair of shoes, the black ones that I'm wearing to death, or I have been wearing to death before I got these, which are some YSL simple black shoes. I'll insert a photo over here um, so you can see which ones I'm talking about. But those are by far the most comfortable heels I've ever had. I think the heel height is over four inches and um, I can wear those for hours and almost run in them. But I wanted to find another pair of black shoes that I could wear that were also comfortable so I didn't wear those to death. So that's why I got these. And yeah, so far I love them. I think they're absolutely beautiful. Um, I kind of like the fact that they're not patent leather because they already have the shininess when it comes to the studs. So I feel like that's kind of enough bling for me. I wore these with pants for my birthday dinner and actually with this jacket, which is why I'm wearing this blinged out sparkly jacket. You're probably like, what is you wearing? But yeah, I wore this like blinged out bomber for my birthday. <laughs> um, black pants and these shoes. Um, like I said, my birthday is January 16th, so it's freezing cold outside. It's really hard to look cute on January 16th for your birthday and be the birthday girl, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, they looked really cute with pants. I think they're gonna look really cute with dresses and skirts as well, so I liked the variety that I could wear with these shoes. Um, they're not necessarily a casual shoe, but I feel like I will wear them casually because um, they are so comfortable, so I feel like I will be throwing these on with like jeans and going to a casual-ish type of event or dinner. Um, they have the adjustable strap around the top, which is nice. I think I'm like third in, so there's still like another two or three holes that I can adjust it to if necessary. And I think they just don't aggravate my feet because you're supported all the way through. So you have the strap here, you have the strap up here. Um, and yeah, they just seem to let your feet breathe and comfortably move around, which is impressive for a pointy toe shoe because I feel like you're almost doomed every time you put on a pointy toe shoe. So it's kind of cool that like your toes are covered, but at the same time, you're not in utter pain. So yeah, um, so I love them so far. I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of them this year. Um, I love how versatile they are and I love the shade. 
And yeah, I just wanted to share with you the new shoes that I got. If any updates happen, I'll be sure to keep you informed. Um, but I have a feeling that nothing's going to change when it comes to my opinion. I think I'm going to forever love them and hopefully they will wear very well and not have like stud popping off issues or anything like that. So that is pretty much it. That's what I wanted to share with you. I know that if you are interested in them and you get them, you'll probably love them too. All right guys, so that is it for my video. Thank you so much for watching. I will put a link down below for the shoes in case you wanna check them out yourself and comment below if you have them because I would love to hear about your experiences with the shoes. Um, I love talking about shoes, so leave a comment and let me know. Um, also, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I will be putting up even more videos this year, so I'd love to have you as a subscriber. And if you hit that notification bell down below, somewhere, then you'll be notified every time I upload a new video as well. So thank you guys so much for checking out my video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.